Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. We are going to have a meeting with the Queen, I believe. Uh, we do need to go back to London anyway because we are almost out of fuel and things. But yes, we are going to use our Royal Dispensation to go and speak to the Queen. I was kind of tempted to see if we should get another one. Because we need one for the wealth ending. But I think it'll be okay. Yes. Hopefully we don't run into anything nasty. I'm sure we won't. Now I have been warned that uh, the choices I make in the conversation with the Queen are what's going to change my... Uh, my aunt... Of evolution, I guess. I was trying to think of the right word there. It's going to change what she's going to be, but I don't actually know what I need or want. So I'm just going to wing it and we're going to see what happens. It's usually the way I do things. You should know that by now. I just wing it. All good. Hopefully, there's an interesting story behind it. Otherwise, I'm going to be uh, quite upset because those royal dispensations are not cheap. I don't feel like I've gone the wrong way. No, I haven't. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the right way. It's fine. I am slightly concerned about my fuel level right now. It is kind of running out. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to apologise in advance for the... I, apparently hay fever has just come back today. I slept with my window open and just woke up with just feeling like crap. So I feel a little bit... Uh, yeah. Oh, great. It, I've never understood hay fever. It's like the most stupid thing ever. I've lived in this country for my entire life. You'd have thought I'd developed some sort of immunity to the pollen that's here, not a bloody susception to it. But uh, Whatever, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. On the plus side, the only thing I've got to do today is record this. So that's good. <laughs> I mean, technically I could record some of the seas as well. I may, I may record them back to back. Because I'm actually quite looking forward to going back to playing some of the seas. Some interesting stuff going on there. But, uh, I don't know. I've still got Ghost of Tsushima. I've been playing that a bit recently. If, and if anyone showed up for the stream, there is a stream on the channel of the Ghost of Tsushima, the start of the Ghost of Tsushima. I carried on playing past that uh, because I wanted to play it. And uh, it's really good. I, I, I see it's been not getting brilliant praise online, but I've, I've learned to just ignore what the internet says at this point. Okay, we made it back to London. <coughs> Oh no. Oh. Uh, there is one thing I kind of want to check. Can I do that now? Yeah, I'd be fine. I was going to go to the uh, ministry and drop off all of our port reports and stuff and see how much it costs to get a royal dispensation. But you know what? Screw it. Let's just, let's just wing it. Uh, stories. It's going to be in. Explore London, I guess? Here we go. Seek an audience with Queen Victoria. There is only one person alive who can answer your aunt's question about the unclear bomb. Do we get to speak to the Queen? Eh? Black and gold and glory. The throne of ours rises above the smog of London like an imperial cathedral. False sunlight reflects from it clear as cut glass and pitiless as dawn. Your dispensation gets you into the clockwork court where courtiers are permitted to attend upon the imperial presence. Courtiers outfitted in the imperial colours of black and gold survey you with a mixture of curiosity and fear. New blood is the engine of change at court and change is the enemy of security. The Royal Chamberlain sweeps you through the court and into the throne room itself. Time stills to a hush as the great doors close behind you. Silence falls like a curtain over a stage. Your footfall is too loud on the polished marble. The throne is a head, towering over you in all its splendid immensity. Its myriad glass surfaces shimmer like falling water. Within, you see yourself reflected, as you once were, as you ought to be, and as you never will be. 
there is a chair at the top of the throne, a much smaller throne. A figure sits on it. Well, here's a thing. Should we examine the throne or should we ascend the throne? Let's examine the throne. Inscriptions in the correspondence smolder in its base. It's not what you came here for, but perhaps it has antiquarian interest. Ow. Curled sigils scintillate across the glass. The imprints flow like spilt wine. Each symbol lights a fire behind your eyes like the afterglow of a sunset. The last few sigils are isolated, discreet and each has impacted on the throne like a descent of a comet. You record what you can before your vision is lost to the smoking after images of the language of the stars. So now we're going to go meet the queen but be blind at the same time. It's perfect. Ascend the throne of ours. A wide stair of mirrored glass runs the height of the throne, allowing access to her renewed majesty's seat. Good God. I think I didn't come here with high terror. Your aunt is ahead of you, her sensible shoes clattering against the glass as she climbs the vast banister-less stairs towards the throne of Queen Victoria, her renewed majesty. You'd best hurry if you want to catch her. You reach the apex of the throne. Below you, the fearful machinery of ours. Above, the throne of Victoria. Your aunt hesitates before reaching for your hand. Together, you approach her renewed majesty. We can approach her. A renewed majesty, Empress of Albion, the Reach, London, and soon to be conquered territories, Victoria, Queen of Britannia surveys you. He raises a hand, flush with youth, beckoning you forward. It's been a long time since anyone requested the privilege of an answer. Her eyes are like the formation of diamonds. One had thought it had been stricken from all the new books. Your aunt allows herself a quick satisfied smile. Your Majesty, we found the unclear bomb. It's unused. I must surmise that we did not kill Albion's son. Thus, we did not claim Albion by conquest and owe the revolutionaries no debt. Am? He pauses and draws a deep breath. Am I correct? Victoria laughs. Her laughter is bright. Oh, well done. Yes, we enlisted help, but the situation on the ground turned out to be quite different from what we'd expected. We've been keeping the bomb hidden, however, for a rainy day. She leans back on her throne. So, now that you know all that, you'll answer the question of one's own. What are you planning to do with the information? We can either keep it hidden or we can reveal the truth. Ooh, this must be the choice. I reckon one of them will make a more sort of pro... pro-establishment Queen Victoria's side, and the other one will make her a revolutionary. I think... Hmm. Let's keep it hidden. Albion's secrets are safe with you. Her renewed majesty smiles indulgently, as one would at a tame bird mimicking speech. One does appreciate patriotism. It's such a rare quality. Everybody wants something from one. She rises from the throne. Her face is lost in the rays of light from the clockwork sun, which seep through the window behind her. Not that anyone's motivations matter so much anymore. One is timeless. One's dominion is history itself. Chronologically 
bows before one. One is eternity's mistress. She smiles, serene and radiant. She waves her hand. You are dismissed. Oh. For some reason I expected her to be more... I don't know. Well, actually, no, that kind of perfectly matched my impression of the Queen. Uh, her renewed majesty looks on with unseeing eyes. Timeless, deathless, enduring. Time is her dominion, and this its cost. You have learned all her renewed majesty will permit, and we will descend to the throne of ours. Your aunt needs no encouragement. She offers a hasty curtsy to her monarch and makes for the monumental glass stair. You follow in her wake, descending the vast and banisterless stair as fast as you're able. Your aunt's grip is rigid as she marches you from the throne room, her fingers trembling and her pulse racing in her wrist. We'll talk back on the engine, she whispers. Okay, let's go speak to her on the engine then. Talk to your aunt. She's been very quiet since meeting the Queen. Ooh. So this will transform the inconvenient aunt into your spy master aunt. A quartermaster who increases your irons by 10, bloody hell, and your affiliation establishment by 2. You catch your aunt burning papers in the boiler room. Do you have a tea? She asks, leading you to her cabin. She gets out her best service. I was relieved to speak to the Queen. Our sovereign's presence alone kept us from being enthralled to the revolutionaries. A lump of sugar settles in her teacup. It seems the Albion government has been lax, getting into messes, and worse, shoddy when attempting to cover them up. Her eyes gleam behind her spectacles. I shall have to come out of retirement. Her Majesty needs me. So, I'll still have time to help you out here, of course. So, we gained Spy Master Aunt. And, uh... 4,000 experience. Now, can we attempt a translation of the correspondence in the throne room? Now this intrigues me. See if you can decipher the correspondence scored into the throne of ours. Sixty-eight percent chance of our mirror score. You have quite a few hours as your locomotive win wends its way through the skies. Nothing is currently on fire. You could take the opportunity to perform some light translation. Whatever was scorched into the throne of ours must be significant. The last testament of a doomed sun? A pangratic to its temporal potency? A secret taken to its ashen grave? You'll be the first to have studied the throne, or if there were others, they are silenced or gone. And translating the correspondence is always risky. Let's try it once, see what happens. Success. With pen, paper, and a hardback copy of Dolph Ford's compilation, you subject your transcription to the merciless interrogation. You use a magnifying glass at several points until it melts entirely. Much of the writing is a pain brick to the judgment of ours. A catalogue of its deeds and dominions, its provinces, holdfasts, and vassals, its triumphs over le time's lesser potentates. Potentates. There's a lot of words here that my brain has never seen before. Just warning you. The final burnt lines employ sigils used nowhere else on the throne. A warning. A message. Time offers no surety against death. Okay. Well, we've officially torpedoed 
our terror, which is, you know, interesting. So, we've done the Inconvenient Arts storyline, which is, which is awesome, which means the next one that we need to do is our boy, the clay man. This button here. That's going to be fun. But before that, I think... Because uh, we've got about 15 minutes left in this episode. That didn't go on quite as long as I was anticipating. So let's fill in some time by doing some... Uh, the word that always leaves my brain. It's our prospects. There we go. Uh, there were five panes of stained glass. We have five panes of stained glass? No, we do not. In fact, we are, we are quite short on everything in the moment. Kind of a problem, isn't it? We could do crockery for the most serene mausoleum. Oh no, I only have one set of... <gasps> I only have one set of nostalgic crockery, what's happening? Oh no, normally I have hundreds of that. Okay, so I think I already have one. Literature for Traitor's Wood, that's in the Reach. Admittedly, we do have to go back to the Reach. But you know what? Let's do that. How many do we need? We need five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I need to make sure that I buy some more fuel. And we will... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I need the passage... M uh, money stuff. No, bank. It's the... these. These are only two. I assume it's two. If not, we're in trouble. Okay, let's head back to the reach. Over there. Wait, is it over there? Yes, it is. The reach transit relay. You'd have thought I'd know that by now. I've done this about a hundred times. Oh, God. It's... I suddenly feel incredibly strange. Not good. Maybe it's suddenly got really hot in here. Let me turn the fan on. Is that blowing directly into the microphone? It probably is, no, my planning. No, I think we're good. Oh god, we crashed. It's... Just ignore that. Ignore that. It's fine. I wasn't looking at the screen. It doesn't count if I'm not looking at the screen. That's how that works. Yeah, that's better. Sometimes I think I just want to put these headphones on and I start having... I start getting really hot. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And then other days I'll be fine. But just today I feel weird. I think I'm just going to blame hay fever. So I did finish, uh, well I suppose you'd know if you'd watched, I finished The Room uh, yesterday and it is actually up on the channel believe it or not. Actually re I'm recording things the same day I'm doing them, my, my least favourite way of recording at the moment. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, went alright. Uh, let's gain some unusual items. Oh, Barrel of Unseasoned Arrows, wonderful. Ah, uh, yeah, I finished the room. And that was a game. Oh, man, that was fun. I didn't really know how it was going to translate into doing a series on it, but I don't know, people seem to enjoy it, so I'm, I am probably going to be doing The Room 2. I have heard it's significantly different to The Room 1, as in, it's actually rooms, not boxes. So, we'll see how well that bloody goes. My biggest concern is that I'm going to end up with like a video that's two hours long because I'm an absolute moron. But uh, the, the first game went okay. There's a few moments where I look like an absolute idiot, but that seems to happen in every game I play, so I can't judge that too much. I'm going to blame that on the fact that I'm recording and stuff. Yes, the easiest excuse to make. Right, here we are. 
We are coming up to the gate now. Now from tra from the gate, Traitor's Wood is north, I think. It'll be a relatively easy way of getting there, I'm sure. Comzi's playing Middle Earth Shadow of War. Is he finally playing Shadow of War? Not that that came up in the video, but... It's a good game, that is. Very good. I haven't played it for a very long time. I played it when it first came out. Um, it's basically bloody Assassin's Creed set in the... It's a bit more than that, I suppose, but uh, it, a very unkind description is this Assassin's Creed set in the Lord of the Rings universe. <laughs> there is more to it, though, with like, the Nemesis system and all that sort of stuff, and they, they definitely improved upon it in the second game. I remember the story was really good in the second game. My favourite thing about like, Shadow of War, though, was when, I, uh, was when I got the Pro. The PlayStation Pro. And... I downloaded the HD patch. And it was like 40 gig or something. I was like, oh, this is going to make the game look amazing. I actually looked into it, and it, all I was downloading was the 4K cutscenes. <laughs> I was like, oh. Are they cutscenes? Somehow, I don't think I care that much about the 4K cutscenes. I was expecting texture packs and stuff like that, but no, no. Admittedly, I will say one thing. The cutscenes looked really good. There's no denying that. They looked Fantastic, <laughs> but it was like 40 gig or something ridiculous. It might not have been 40 gig, it might have been like 20 gig. I remember at the time just looking at it going, what the hell? That's like the size of the game again, downloaded in just cutscenes. <clears throat> oh, my nose is blocking up and so is my throat. Oh no, we've just got to make it to Traders 1. <clears throat> we'll be fine. I'm sure, well, I'm sure all you'll be fine. It's me that might not be. There is a man who's still building the uh, gazebo in my next door's garden. And... He's actually put his hammer down. Which is nice, because for the past like three days, he's just constantly been up on that roof, hammering uh, shingles. Into, well, nails into shingles to attach them to the roof. Oh my god, it's taken forever. And it's so, it's so noisy. Oh, hello. We didn't crash. Evasive maneuvers? I don't really feel like fighting, to tell you the truth. Bye. There we go. Easy. That was surprisingly well. For some reason I expected something even worse to be here. I always forget. I remember I was like, why is there always raiders here? It's like, yeah, because this is the raider base or something ridiculous like that. Missed. Oh, what the hell is this? A fungal fragment? Let's just destroy the fungus and reduce our terror. Yeah. Uh oh. I was saved by that piece of rock right there. He would have hit me, but he missed. Screw oh, this was supposed to be a shortcut. Now I've got to go across this wind. I'll be all right, I think. I will, however, scoop that up for the supplies. Ah, oh, come on, we can make it. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Luckily, it wasn't this entire ravine. Uh... Ah! Frickin' hell. I almost got shot in the ass by a monitor. That would have sucked. I was kind of hoping this guy was going to win and I could loot the monitor, but... Give it a couple of seconds. Make sure this idiot ain't going to shoot first. There we go. Star Maddened Explorer is dead. Let's uh, find a Sky Story or a Tale of Terror. Hopefully a Tale of Terror. Nope, nope, Sky Story. Ah, don't crash into the Ministry. Okay. 
I just realized I have basically... I, I, this has taken a lot more fuel than I anticipated. Oh, Hour of the Wolf. Let's... It'll pass? Oh, fuck it. Five Terror. It's about time I failed one of those. Don't worry, there's a Wonder up here. We'll use that to lower our Terror slightly. It's all as I planned it. Wait, is that the Wonder right there? Regent's Tears. Huh. Lower my terror? It must have at some point, but hopefully the bees will leave us alone. Since they they always attack if you have honey on you. If you don't have any honey, you should be okay. Nine times out of ten, I come through here, I go past one of their nests, I pick up the honey, and then everything is hostile. Whoops. Oops, some set camp cells. Well, no idea. It won't tell me what it sells. I was going to say, I hope it sells fuel, otherwise we might be in trouble. Okay, here we are. We made it. Just in time, too. Jock. And then find out that like I didn't actually do the the prospects. No, I did. Thank God. There's some money. Wonderful. We need money. Well, I guess this is a perfect place for me to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. We did discover a little bit more about the the world. Like we didn't use the unclear bomb. So how did the sun die? So I am kind of confused on that one. I'd like to know more about that. If there is actually any more information about that. Or I'm misunderstanding what I read and we had two unclear bombs and we used one of them against the sun. But I don't think that's what it was. I think it was... We didn't use it for some reason. The sun just died on its own? Yet. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.